What is going on everybody? It is an outstanding day. I am Keith Davis, your ketogenic lifestyle coach, and today we will be traveling to Chattanooga. I will teach you a little bit about myself and about this ketogenic journey that I have been on, along with a full day of ketogenic eating on the go, because we will be heading to Chattanooga. I've got meetings for work over the next three days, and I'm going to show you how you can live a successful and a sustainable ketogenic lifestyle on the go. Let's get traveling. Everybody, we have made it to Lenore City. It has taken me two hours and 45 minutes to get from Kingsport through Knoxville, which is ridiculous due to traffic, but it is now 3.45. Let's go ahead and have our first meal of the day with some Starbucks and some Zaxby's. Hello, thanks for choosing Starbucks. How can we help you today? Uh, can I have a venti blonde Americano with heavy whipping cream, please? Venti blonde Americano with heavy whipping cream? Yes, sir. Okay, have your total the window. Thank you. Yeah. You awesome, thank you. Have a good have one. Great day. Thank you for choosing Zaxby's. My name is Sam Lux. Our new bus delay sandwich mail. Uh, no, thank you. Can I get 10 traditional nuclear wings, please? Okay, 10 traditional wings and nuclear. What up for you? Uh, just a side of ranch and a large water, please. All right, that'll be 1280 at the window, please. Thank you. You're welcome. Extra napkins and wipes. This is some big old traditional today. Thank you. You have a great day. You too. Sweet. So the first thing we got to do is doctor up our coffee. This is what you have to do if you can get your mixer at home. Ugh! Idiot! Just get it back and forth and try not to spill a whole bunch in your car. Moments later. Now check these out. Premium Keto on the Road. I'll get you guys the macros at the end of the day, but this is one of my staples when I'm on the go. back on the road. How may you? Keith Davis checking in. Made it. 
so we are unloaded, ready to go at the Residence Inn in downtown Chattanooga. That drive took about two hours longer than it should have, but that's life and that's what we're here to explore. This has turned out to be chicken wing day because tonight we will be going to Moe's Barbecue and ordering smoked wings, collard greens, and hopefully, if they still have it, pork chili, which is literally just pork and liquid. No beans, nothing, and it's awesome. So, I'll see you guys when we head that way. Smoked wings and collard greens to go, please. Yeah, and the wing platter usually comes with two sides. Do two collard double, greens. Double greens. Buffalo salsa can those wings. Yes. And you need a drink? Nope. What's a good name for this? Keep. Awesome. Thank you. All right, fam, we are back from Moe's Barbecue, and you are going to be jealous. We have some habanero vinegar collard greens times two. They were out of the chili, and we've got these smoked wings. Look at that. Look at that. It's beautiful. It's delicious. Awesome. With vinegar-based habanero sauce and a little bit of habanero ranch. I'm gonna eat this and watch a movie and I'll go back to you guys tonight. 8.01 p.m. All right guys, welcome back to the end of day one of our four day adventure in uh, Chattanooga and uh, eating on the go. Macros for today ended up being 111 grams of protein with 167 grams of fat and 18 grams of total carbs. So macros ended up being four 18 and 74 percent pretty good macros really close to the uh, standard five percent carbohydrates 20 percent protein and 75 percent fat for the ketogenic diet um, that's where i like to start people out at uh, everybody's body's a little bit different sometimes you need a little less protein a little more fat sometimes you need a little less fat a little more protein big thing is keeping it under 50 grams total carbs so that'll end today's version of this vlog today's version today's volume uh, i'll start again tomorrow morning uh, i got meetings all day tomorrow morning for work so we'll get up early uh won't eat breakfast in the morning uh, i fast until three o'clock i only get all i get all my meals in between three and nine p.m but what i'll show you guys tomorrow morning is how i pack snacks utilizing the included breakfast buffet and to-go coffee cups. So we'll check that out tomorrow. You can see some of my secrets, tips, and tricks. So I'll see you tomorrow. Stay awesome. Early the next morning. We are ready for work. Let's go down and get a snack for later today.
Also, what I like to do in the mornings is I go downstairs to the free breakfast buffet and I get a couple coffee cups and I fill them with the meats they have, be it today sausage and ham or preferable breakfast sausage instead of smoked sausage and bacon. And then I get the hard boiled eggs and some cheddar cheese. Sometimes I get the brie, it's a little questionable, but I stay away from the scrambled eggs just due to you don't know what preservatives are in there very rarely are they real eggs are usually bagged eggs or powdered eggs so i just stay away from those and get with the hard boiled eggs because at least you know they're real eggs they're not going to be pasture raised however we do the best we can because we're on the road and i'll save those until once i get back to be a good snack i can eat when i can get back here now it's time for me to get some black coffee and head to work and i'll talk to you guys later So, a little bit about myself, uh, I'm married for almost 15 years, I'm 35 years old, and I have three children. I've been on this ketogenic journey for nine months now, almost a year, and it has changed my life. I have lost 65 pounds since June of 2018, and it is currently April of 2019. So what is the ketogenic lifestyle from Keith Davis? Ketogenic lifestyle is a lifestyle where your standard ketogenic diet, 80, 75 to 80% 80 of your calories come from fats. We try to get those fats from grass-fed meats, uncured meats. Um, if they are cured, they're cured without nitrates. Uh, we get those fats from avocados, olive oils, avocado oils, and then our proteins also come from those meats. Sometimes you have to eat leaner cuts of meat, you just have to be careful. And we get 20% of our calories from the proteins we eat. And then 5% of our calories come from carbohydrates, which will come from leafy green vegetables like broccolis and spinaches, spinaches, leafy greens, and things like that. With that, we try to eat as clean as we can. However, like I said earlier, I'm married. I'm walking to work right now. So, my life does not revolve around eating. The ketogenic lifestyle is not just thinking about food 24 7 what am I gonna eat next how am I gonna get through the day we're eating to live not living to eat but life happens this last winter we had to live into the hospital for three months my son was diagnosed with a very aggressive cancer and we had to live in the hospital for three months as he was going through chemo treatments and multiple abdominal surgeries to fix uh, his digest digestive tract. So in that time, I lived off of Zaxby's like you saw yesterday. I learned there that those nuclear wings, their traditional wings are very low in carbs. They don't dredge them in flour. They just fry them and put the hot sauce on them. So you really just have to worry about the sauce. I lived off taco shops getting burrito bowls or taco bowls just ordering burritos no tortilla getting sour cream and guacamole or i lived off chipotle or mo's so it is very sustainable to do the ketogenic diet on the go one thing that has changed my whole mindset utilizing the ketogenic diet or the ketogenic lifestyle i I even have to prevent myself from saying diet all the time. I'm not worried about the scale anymore. I don't care. But the problem, I believe it's very dangerous 
to have weight goals because your body type is going to be a different weight at a certain physique level than my body type or anybody else's body type. I think we should have physique goals. Like this is what I want to look like or these are the clothes I want to fit in. That can still be dangerous because your bone structure may be different where you can't fit in those. So we need to be very careful with the goals we set for ourselves. And yes, make them challenging, but also make them attainable. My goal of looking like Dwayne Johnson <laughs> is not obtainable for at least the next like 20 years. One eternity later. Woo, let's go eat. Hey everybody, we've made it to Whole Foods. Let's get in here and get us some snacks so we can get back to the room. got some uh, olives and grilled garlic and some feta cheese with some pecan halves and salted almonds and two avocados should be some good snacks to last us for a few days until we can get back home and uh, I'm gonna plate this up when we get back to the room and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit all right guys we made it back to the room and you would be jealous of the smell in here I heated up the sausage and the ham that we got from breakfast along with we have the hard-boiled eggs the olives we just got at Whole Foods and well just check it out for yourselves don't be jealous as Goody Beats would say this stuff is awesome so I'm gonna go ahead and eat this meal one for the day and uh, later on I'm gonna meet some guys back at Moe's for dinner I'm gonna try not to get wings again, but that's hard to do because they do wings well. What's up guys? Got done with that meal a couple hours ago. Just made myself a keto coffee uh, with some MCT oil and butter. Getting ready to head to Moe's for dinner with some friends. I'm not gonna vlog this meal, but I'll let you know about it when I get back. So you guys sit tight and I'll talk to you in a few minutes. <music> Two hours later. Good evening. Just got back from Moe's with the guys. I uh, had wings again. They didn't have any brisket, so I had wings, um, collard greens, 
a little bit of collard greens, and then broccoli casserole, which was just made with broccoli, eggs, cheese, and a little bit of heavy whipping cream, so it was really clean and it was awesome. Uh, macros for the day is 75% fat, 22% protein, and 3% carbohydrates. That puts it at 18 grams of carbs, 192 grams of fat, and 128 grams of protein. Um, all in all, today went really well. Uh, got to eat a lot of good food. It's really good when you're out that you can go find a store uh, to go actually get some groceries from. It may not be a Whole Foods. It could be a Walmart. It could be a Kroger. It could be an H-E-B, depending on where you're at. Um, that usually makes everything go a lot smoother, makes it a little bit easier uh, instead of just being on the road and eating out all the time. And it'll save you a little bit of money in the long run. So uh, this will end day two of our four days in Chattanooga. Uh, I'll see you guys in the morning. Good night. Now for sure. Time for work. Let's go grab our breakfast buffet snack. Chattanooga. Once again, I got another full day of meetings. See, I got my black coffee. Good for my fast in the morning. Uh, I fast in the mornings and in the early afternoon until 3 p.m. I usually don't eat my first meal until then. And then I get in all of my calories for the day, which is anywhere between 2100 to 2500 calories even with working out I try to maintain 2100 calories and then I try to get all those calories in before 9 p.m. so I eat in a six hour window and then my body utilizes the fuel that I've eaten in that six hour window over the next 18 hours so it gives my body a chance to utilize its own fat storage for fuel Many unbearable hours later. Well, there was eight hours of saving the world for today. I think it's time to go for a run. What's going on, everybody? Just got done with my run. It was a little rougher than I'm used to. Used to running at 4.30 in the morning when it's like 50 degrees. It's only low 70s out here, but the sun's out. And I'm a touch out of shape because it's been a few months since I ran. Got 1.72 miles in in an eight minute pace it's fairly flat out here had a few downhills but it's east tennessee what are you gonna do i think it's about time to go get some water and uh, do some stretching oh so one thing i didn't tell you guys about my little jaunt through downtown chattanooga was that i have already eaten my first meal today uh we had lunch during our meeting and it was uh a pretty awesome grilled chicken Caesar salad uh, with olives Kalamata olives and I brought my own olives today that I bought last night at Whole Foods along with some uh, pecans and almonds in there with uh, Caesar dressing and uh, an unsweet tea and I had a bunch of coffee today so normally when I work out I am fasted not an empty stomach 
I don't work out well with food in my stomach and even though it was about four and a half hours ago before I ran I made that run a little rough had some stomach cramps and other things like that fat does not help that at all uh, even though I'm not as big as I used to be I'm definitely not in shape like I was last fall when I stopped running because <clears throat> I am a fair weather runner. Uh, if it's not greater than 50 degrees outside at 4.30 in the morning or 4 o'clock in the morning, I do not go run because I like to run on large roads that are mostly flat for uh, knee health purposes. So uh, that was my running experience today. Overall, today's been pretty sweet. Just sitting through meetings, uh, telling people about the ketogenic lifestyle when I can, when I'm not having to do my J-O-B, my nine to five. So with that, uh, I'm gonna take a break, stretch a little bit more, cause you know, being 35 doesn't heal like you're 25. And uh, probably make my plate for my second and final meal of the day of the stuff we got this morning at breakfast and some more uh, whole food supplies, uh, almonds and pecans and olives mostly. I'm gonna save the avocado for tomorrow for my last meeting and before our drive back to Kingsport. So uh, I will talk to you guys in a little bit. So here it is everybody, meal number three. We got our sausage from breakfast, our olives from Whole Foods, our eggs, and our cheese from breakfast this morning. So I'm going to finish this slowly as I relax and recover from running as I watch myself a little bit of uh, into the badlands and then I gotta work on my taxes because it's about that time it doesn't get any better than that it actually does but I'll talk to you guys a little bit later I'm gonna relax three hours later hey what's going on everybody uh, quick recap of the day uh, um, turning it in a little early tonight uh, I'm gonna try to get some extra sleep uh, I've stayed up past midnight the last two nights for no apparent reason then just because I'm in a hotel room and I can't sleep in a hotel room for some reason uh, recap macros had 75% fat today 18% protein and 7% carbs uh, those carbs, total carbs were at 45 grams. That's due to having an avocado, four cups of romaine lettuce, uh, pecans and almonds uh, mixed together in the salad and then some almonds for a snack along with uh, salad dressing, uh, Caesar salad dressing. So with that, that all adds up to total carbs of 45. Net carbs is in the 20s, high 20s. So not too horrible, still good, keeping it under 50 grams. Uh, tomorrow will be our last day in Chattanooga. We get to travel back home. I have one more day of meetings. Uh, don't know if I'll be eating lunch in that meeting, so I'll try to get uh, some footage of that meal because I didn't get any footage of that meal today because we were in the meeting and it was kind of a working lunch. Uh, but it was keto friendly, so that was awesome. Um, and I also got to share some uh, keto insights with some friends, uh, living the ketogenic lifestyle and just making it sustainable because, you know, people get people uh, stress on themselves a little bit and you know they do it for two months and they fall off the wagon for a day and they think they've ruined everything but it's it's not it's not how it works you know when you when you're doing a diet yes but when you're making a lifestyle change you know it's you got to take the stress off yourself we got to live life and that's what we got to do so and that's what I'm trying to show everyone here and that's the whole purpose of this channel and uh, that's kind of become my new purpose in life one of my many purposes in life is just you know to help people live to be the best they can be. So with that, uh, I'll see you guys in the morning and I'm gonna go relax. One pair of pants later. everybody it's about eight o'clock we have packed up the car checked out from the hotel got our breakfast to go now I gotta head to work get these this last meeting out of the way 
and we will head back home finally. So I'll talk to you guys in about eight hours. He said, I, I don't care if they lay me off either because I told I told Bill that if they move my desk one more time, then, then, I, then I'm quitting. I'm going to quit. And, and I told Dom too because they've moved my desk four times already this year and I used to be over by the window and I could see the squirrels and they were married, but then they switched. Well, that's eight hours down. Let's head to the house. Get out of here. 12 o'clock midnight. How's it going everybody? It's late. It's almost midnight now. Uh, day got busy after we left Chattanooga. Uh, had band rehearsal right as I got back into town. Had to run sound for that and then just been hanging out at home. Uh, macros for the day ended up being 70, I think 73% fat. 21% protein and 6% carbohydrates, uh, 38 grams total for carbs, uh, had a salad with some grilled chicken, uh, some tzatziki sauce, and the eggs and bacon I got at breakfast this morning, uh, and a bunch of olives and some feta cheese for lunch, and then like half of a keto brick when I got back home cookies and cream keto brick so that was about it um, thank you guys for hanging out with me this long uh, checking out this vlog of uh, eating on the go traveling uh, keeping it keto um, if you guys enjoyed this hit subscribe down below uh, hit the bell icon for uh, alerts when I post more videos more content uh, they probably won't be as long as this one was this is getting a little ridiculous um, but maybe not. We'll see how I edit it. Um, I will talk to you guys later and have a great evening.